the 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 Bitcoin is stored in that spreadsheet that we talked about. And the spreadsheet is on each individual person's computer. So if you wanted to hack, so then you're like, okay, wait, the money isn't in the software. It's just been tracked on a ledger. We, we're just saying, here's some units of Bitcoin. Let's start sharing it. The same way sharecroppers just came up with wood and nickels. They just made it. And we're like, okay, I'll give it to you. You give it to me. It's just supposed to represent an ability to change money between one another when we don't have a money that's good enough to use in, inside our own little network, right? It's the documenting of the exchange of value. Basically, it's just digital units that have value because we can trace them, period, across all Bitcoin time and make sure there's no hijinks. Also, a government can't come in and say, you know what, we're here now. There's going to be 42 million Bitcoin and we're giving ourselves 21 million Bitcoin. The government, if they want Bitcoin, they have to do what everyone else is doing to get Bitcoin, which is either pay for it or mine it. Yeah, which basically means work for it. Either you have to buy it or you have to work for it. 